Um, but yeah, no, Lewis, Lewis is cool to us. Um, you know, I'm not going to pretend like we're we're pal like we're best pals with Lewis, but he's always been nice to me. He's always been nice to us. He's always accommodated us. We always try to accommodate him back. Um, that's all it is. It's just about. And also, the reason they like us is because whether you like or hate us, Lewis isn't retarded. He's just Puerto Rican. <laughs> Bentley's not a high tech car, meaning like it doesn't have like the runner lights. Like when you get in a Bentley, it doesn't, you know, it's not like a new. Beamer or a Mercedes yeah. where they have the pink and purple running designed lights. Designed by a it Puerto Rican. Yeah, it looks kind of <laughs> ethnic. Yeah. It looks a little ethnic. Yeah, um, you know, the reality is this is more of an English gentleman's car. It doesn't, it doesn't have a horn that goes beep. It, 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 it. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, this isn't a, you know, so they yeah, have my, some new stuff. My Audi, like literally half the technology is being able to change the lighting panels and everything. <laughs> right. It really is, dude. There's dude, nothing if I want to, if I was, I could match my lighting scheme to my outfits. And that's what yeah. they, they sold it to me that that way they looked at me when they, they're like this Puerto Rican guy's gonna love this feature right and they said they're like you can match the lighting scheme every day to whatever outfit you're wearing and I was like what the fuck is wrong yeah with <laughs> sorry um no but he's not retarded so it, he understands how metrics and algorithms and things work he understands that when a bunch of people are are gonna show up to hate on something or like it it's still way more people um it's it's way more people than we're gonna watch it usually right uh if you go back and watch some of the old shows like we like the last time we went up there you look at some of the numbers on some of those shows and we're me and Royce only got beat because and again, it's only because we have an advantage because we're not stand up comedians. We don't we're not fucking part of the table at the cellar. We're on the Internet. We get the Internet to show up. They know that if I can get a bunch of people like if I can get 100 people to show up or let's say 50 people to show up to a live show, let's say 25 of them want to buy me a drink, but 25 of them are showing up with torches and pitchforks. But every one of them has to buy a ticket. Whether they want to buy me a drink or kick my ass, they got to buy a ticket. <sighs> Lewis is the kind of guy that's like, fucking book those guys, dude. <laughs> I don't care. You're not going to fucking... I don't care if there's a whole bunch of dudes in fucking white robes and torches and fucking also people like bringing hookers with them. Like, fucking get off your shop, dude. <clears throat> so, yeah, like he gets that, so... When they try to like do the little gay ops and like their little fake like dialogues, like they're totally organic conversations with each other and their own replies. It's like, okay, Bally, like, okay, pot awful, like that's cool. But they, it's still, they're like, wow, we had a lot of comments. Like they, they, they're only gonna look at, Dude, we had a lot of likes, a lot of dislikes, a lot of views, and a lot of comments, dude. Well, good morning, good morning. It's the Real Ass Podcast. It is a fine and happy Wednesday. It's your other boy, the international superstar, Zach Amico. Here filling in because uh, Lewis is out on assignment. Joining me, my favorite co-host and one of my favorite people. Yet again, it's Chris from Brooklyn. What's going on, Zach? How you doing, brother? I'm good. I'm good. Lewis isn't here again. It's very odd. Lewis is uh, flying to L.A. He's got the depraved. Uh, he's going to have two shows at the Comedy Store. Make sure you go check them out. Those are going to be absolutely awesome. So I am holding down the fort this week. That's what's up. Thank you. <laughs> and we are joined by two wonderful gentlemen from the Revenge of the Sis. We got Royce and Marsh. How you guys doing? Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for having us on. Yeah, thank you, boys. Uh, it's been about three years since we hung. Uh, it's nice to see you guys. Yeah. Yeah. But the big one for them when they go to New York is they've buddy-buddied themselves with Louis J. Gomez. You know, the backroom wheeling and dealing with Louis J. By the way, I've done backroom wheeling and dealing with Louis. Any Anybody. Louis J. Gomez will talk to anybody, literally anyone. I could call him up right now. That's not a joke. But here's the craziest thing. They think they're going to go link up with Louis. They're going to go be on the Real Ass Podcast. Louis will have anyone on this show. And the last time they were on, they got laughed off, basically. 
the comment section on YouTube was filled with people going, who the fuck are these guys? This shit is so unfunny. And it wasn't haters. It wasn't pot awful. It was people who watch the real ass podcast, which is basically the juggalos of podcasting. Like the level of entry for a real ass podcast is so low mentally that, well, number one, I could get on there. But number two, Merchant Royce can get on there. And even then, the fans of that show are like, fuck this shit. Never have this caller on the show again. Well, Lewis lets him come back. But Lewis pulls the slickest move I've ever seen. Lewis doesn't show up for his own Own podcast. podcast. (laughs) That's crazy. That is insane. You know what he did? He big timed them. Lewis J. Gomez said, fuck it. Royce and Mersh are coming to town and it's Mersh's birthday. Nah. By the way, this retard in the chat, um, Asking me, did 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 you did you talk to Lewis? No, I didn't talk to Lewis. He wasn't in town. Um, Lewis was in L.A. the entire time we were there. So, um, to be fair, uh, we didn't uh, we didn't see Lewis because we were uh, he was in L.A. But we talked to Lewis because Lewis is the one that set us up to go to gas digital like he's still the boss so it's not like people were like it's not like lewis left town and we went let's invade gas digital like we reached out to lewis because we were going up there to do other shit what she reminds me nice. of my uh ninth grade uh english teacher who her and her friend would go to arizona every summer <laughs> her roommate right yeah her and her yeah, roommate, her would her go her to roommate. Arizona, arizona every summer my mm-hmm. uncle's got a buddy that like just hangs around him and it's just like he's got like a dude he goes on but he's got a wife for 30 years but he goes on vacation with his like friend that, bro time dude yeah, man, sometimes hang out in the man cave with the bros yeah, sometimes you go on vacation with your friend terry for a it's little a while wheel. Oh, yeah, excuse me it wasn't a roller coaster it was, oh, it was a ferris, a ferris wheel. wheel and then it was like oh okay can you add well since we're up there anyway let's ask lewis because we were doing royce was doing hack the movies I uh we were both gonna do boys cast and then it was like well ask gas digital like I I reached out to Matt to do comedy fight club because they're not on gas anymore, um. But Lewis, yeah, Lewis was the one that like we contacted and then he contacted Zach and everybody and was like yeah, I don't know dude just give him like put him on fucking things dude, which is pretty much what he did, and then when we showed up. It was one of those where Zach was tired, so he was like, do you want to just come on everything? Because I'm tired, and you guys should also fucking be tired. Just a big time. Just said, fuck it. Mersh, you're not fucking worth it to me. All all other bone fragments in the future, please, to me. I just need eight. I'm going to literally kill you. I mean, why would he do this to them? It's so embarrassing. They got there, and the only person that was there was Zach um, Amico. So yeah, no, we did, we talked to Lewis, but we didn't see Lewis. We didn't physically see him because he was in L.A. Um, yeah, Bex, you are kind of retarded. I know. Like, look, Pally, I'll give it to you. You're mildly, mildly more clever than most of the Reddit retards. Mildly. But you're also, you also have Asperger's and you also engage in repetitively, like, behaviors that you find soothing, but are so repetitive that it makes you very easy to predict and see and spot. You know what I mean? Like, just stop. But I can't listen to two fat, ugly guys from Florida infect your young minds and tell you all this crap bola <laughs> am i wrong here i sorry and lewis j gomez is the same thing this is why i get mad i get frustrated when i see somebody lying to you right it's i'm not picking on these guys 
I should want them to like me. I should want to be friends with them. But I watch them say some fucking heinous shit, man. I really do. And, you know, they're caught up. They're lost. They don't know what they're saying. I'm telling you, they don't know what they're saying anymore. Lewis needs to shut the fuck up for a little bit, for real. D 